Hi Aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from July 3rd to the 9th but remember that this is also timeless meaning whenever you get to see it will be the right time for you. Anywhere that you have Aquarius in your chart this is your reading. I do have a few up updates that I want to give you is that I am now verified on Instagram and Facebook. So uh, in Instagram and Facebook I don't know how Facebook works but I know that I'm, I'm verified on both. And I have a blue check mark under my name on Instagram, which connects to my Facebook. Okay. So uh, if anybody comes out to you in your DM to give your reading, okay, and they don't have the verification blue check mark, that means that they are a scammer. So please report them and then block them. Okay, and here on YouTube, I am been verified. So if I do write underneath the comments, my name will show up with a white highlight. It's white highlighted. Okay, and if you see that there's no uh, uh, highlight what, uh, under the video with my name, that means that um, that means that it, it it means that it's a scammer. Sorry, it's my daughter. <laughs> that means that it's a scammer. Okay, so just remember to also report and block them as well. Now, at this time, I'm not giving out personal readings online, meaning on YouTube. Okay, because I have a lot of problems when I do that <laughs> with because uh, I'm in Canada, and so we don't have the same applications that the states have or. Uh, you know, um, like, um, how do I say that? Uh, or in Europe, okay? So it's very uh, different here in Canada. But uh, I do want to say, because there's a, a lot of new people here, is that I've been active in my community, okay? I am a psychic medium, clairvoyant, whatever you want to call it, intuitive channeler. And I've been doing this since I was very young at age of five, six years old. But in my community, I am there for about 30 years and it's still going. So I do want to uh, say thank you to my community for the love and support and to come to me when they are in time of need. Uh, I'm always there to serve them and I'm here to serve you as well. That's why I'm coming in with these readings for you, Aquarius. So uh, yes, uh, so I am not giving online readings, but if you're in my community and uh, you want a reading, then you can reach out to me or just, you know, uh, a lot of people just bump into me and, <laughs> you know, it's all synchronicity. So um that being said, for those of you that are looking for a healer or you're looking for a reader or uh, that's the case, uh, I do recommend Mark. I've been, I known Mark for 10 years. It's, he's been working under my umbrella for four years and he's got many great reviews. He's not expensive. Underneath the video, there is his email address. Even if you want to ask him a question, he will answer you. And then, of course, there's his website. If you want to get to know more about him, like his info, and if you resonate with him, He's there for you. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. I'm just going to look fast, fast. Sorry about that. It's just that uh, my daughter. Uh, went. Uh, my daughter went to Boston over the weekend because it's the it's Canada Day uh, when I'm recording this. I, it's going to be Canada Day in a couple of days. And she took advantage to go to Boston and it took her, she drove there. <laughs> so it took her uh, almost like the full day. And so she just texts me now saying, uh, hey mom, I arrived, I'm safe. So that's why I had to answer it. So thank you very much for that. So let's look at the hidden uh, realms here, the wisdom of the hidden realms to see what your message is. Now remember that oracle cards will always pertain to what is going on in the reading. So, okay, so uh, we'll see what's happening here for you. You got two that showed up for you. Okay, we're going to take a look at them. You got the lady in the mirror. So all of you at this time are reflecting. Maybe you're also reflecting in the mirror as well. And uh, maybe it could be also with other people. You're mirroring other people. And it's important to uh, not be judgmental at this time, okay? And you got number 44, the lady of the mirror. Then you got the dream walker, which is a number eight. Look at that, 44 equals to eight, number eight. And you got number eight, so eight, eight. Mm. This is about dreams and it's about the collective good and illusion. So this is the moon card, if I'm not mistaken. It feels like that, okay? So pay attention to your dreams at this time and pay attention about the fears and the illusions around you. And this is for the collective good. So also Lionsgate is going to be very important for you around that time. So mark it down, the eight of the eight, okay? 
uh, of August, even though that this is a July reading, remember it's timeless, right? So maybe you're going to have a specific dream on that day, right? And it's for you to decipher or to see and realize what is uh, everything, you know, like what, what is real and what isn't real. So now we're going to take a look at Cosmic Insights and see if there's a message there for you, Aquarius. What is the message for Aquarius, please? Mercury retrograde. Something about Mercury retrograde. And I know Mercury is going retrograde soon. I just don't remember the date up to now. But it, this talks about electri electronaut, electric, electronaut. Why can't I speak? Because of Mercury retrograde. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have electric issues, uh, communication issues, and it's about reviewing everything. Okay, it's important to review everything. Now we're going to take out a card from Starseed Oracle. Let's see what is your message here for, for Starseed Oracle. Star Ancestors. So there's hidden secrets around you at this time. Okay, it's about lost wisdom. And it's about looking a little deeper. Okay, and I do feel like your ancestors are around you. All you have to do is call them. They show up. That's simple. And that's why I feel that at this time, you're going to be reflecting a lot, okay? And something about, uh, uh, you know, dreams are important at this time. So hidden secrets, okay, lost wisdom, and look a little deeper. Beautiful. All right, now let's get into your reading, Aquarius. I'm going to show you your situation. What is your challenge of what's crossing you? Uh, the core, the recent past till now. In the current energy, uh, you need a future. What is hidden from you and the outcome? And then we will clarify the cards. said four times I don't know why four times but that's what they said okay Aquarius let's get started oh <laughs> look at that came out it wanted to come out you got the devil card it just like flipped over while I was shuffling so these could be patterns that you are holding holding on to or patterns that you need to resolve or release this could be addictions or it could be uh, just, uh, you know, some, some type of uh, people or situations that are toxic in your life. Uh, but I will put it back into the deck. And if it comes back out again, that means that it was meant for you. But still, I wanted to show you. Okay. Let's see here what's happening with Aquarius. You got the Hierophant. What's crossing you is temperance. Taurus, Sagittarius, if, for those of you that want to know the signs. In the core, you got the Queen of Wands. Fire energy and earth. Okay, uh, in the immediate few, uh, past till now, you got uh, the sun, the current energy, justice, nice. And the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm, good. In the immediate future, it's 11.55. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, in what is hidden from you, you can't see, the Six of Wands, Hopes and Fears, the Knight of Swords. In the outcome, the Seven of Wands. In the overall, the Four of Wands. And the extra card I'm giving out is the Two of Cups. And underneath is the Four of Swords. This is what I thought, okay? That's why they told me to do it in four. Uh, some of you are taking time out. Maybe you should be resting more. That could be also an indication here. Or you should be resting or taking time out to isolate, to heal your body, mind, and spirit, to gain clarity, okay? Um, it's going to take a lot of inner strength to do that. It's about being vulnerable because I do feel that some of you are being pulled into different directions and there's still healing that has to take place here, okay? So 
in the overall you got the four ones so the four ones talks about some type of proposal about it could be buying a house moving moving into a new home for some of you uh, it could be about celebrations taking place, less interference. In the extra card is the Two of Cups. So there could be a, a love relationship or it could be anybody here, okay? But it could also be love as well. Let's look at uh, the situation. Now, the Hierophant, this could be a marriage. It doesn't have to be. It could be something long-term. It could be a business that you're in. Maybe you're a healer. Maybe you're a guru or something here, okay, for you. It's about choosing the higher road here. Uh, it, it's also about uh, finding different modalities in terms of healing because that's what's crossing you and your challenge is he healing. Okay, it's about being patient. It's about healing. It's about moderation. Um, okay, so there's, any, there's energy of that. Some of you could be healers here. And in the core you have here is the Queen of Wands. So you're very determined here. Okay, and very, uh, you've been putting a lot of work in your self-confidence, Aquarius. I really like that. There's an attraction here within a situation. It could be you're dealing with a Sagittarius or a Taurus. I do have Leo very strong here as, as well. Libra, okay, for some of you that do want to know the signs. The sun is shining. Okay, that means that there's positive vibes here. And something is coming into balance karmically for you, okay? And it's about the truth and integrity. But you will be contemplating this. Okay, you're going to be at crossroads because you're looking at the big review in the situation here. And uh, you need to remain patient in this. In the immediate future, you got the Queen of Pentacles. You've been nurturing yourself here, okay? And there is stability and prosperity. And what you're not seeing, this is Jupiter coming in. And Jupiter is also here. So Jupiter and also uh, Venus, okay, is a big uh, indication here. Mercury as well. Mercury as the planet. Uh, there is reward here that's coming in recognition or reward and what and hopes and fears you got the knight of swords so there will be some type of communication that's coming in i'm not sure how you're going to feel about this communication because i feel that you're going to stand up for yourself that's which is good or you're going to be defensive okay uh number 77 is important here and uh number 44 so let's clarify the cards and see what's going on here for you Eight, eight shuffles. Eight shuffles and that was the perfect one okay let's cut in four they want me to cut in four so we'll cut in four okay so let's look at the overall with the four of wands so in the overall the four of wands talks about stability here there could be some type of proposal it could be anything here it could be about celebration it's about returning home coming home homecoming Okay, and less interference, and I do see number 1111 here for you. They want me to shuffle. Okay, so let's, let's shuffle. The Eight of Pentacles, the Justice, Strength, the Tower. So yeah, there's a... Definitely changes coming in here, okay, for you. It's important to remain patient and uh, in this situation. Uh, whatever it is here, you've been putting a lot of energy into something, okay, I have a lot, okay, and karmic justice is coming in. For those of you that are in, I don't know, for example, if you have, you're going to court uh, for some type of house or something here in the, that situation or in a state, a house or a business, rulings will be made in your favor, okay, it will be fair, all right. Justice is coming in. For others of you, this just means that karmically, just uh, something is coming into justice. Something is coming into balance for you. And uh, it took you a lot of inner strength to get where you are. You've been putting a lot of energy into something here uh, that is stable, okay? Um, and uh, it's all about integrity here. 
it's also about being vulnerable as well. Venus right now is in the sign of Cancer while I'm recording this. So when Venus goes into Leo, something is going to shift here for you. But I see that as something positive. Let's look at this Two of Cups, that the extra card that I took out here for you. What's this Two of Cups about? The Page of Cups. The Three of Swords. The Chariot. In terms of your interrelationships, or if this is a person that you were in love with, whoever this is for you, there's been a lot of obstacles with this situation, okay? You had to go through a lot of obstacles in a situation where there could have been a heartbreak, timeout, because of course the Four of, Shor four of Swords shows up here for you, okay? Um, so there could have been some type of grief here in some type of, could be with a child, could be your inner healing that you need, like inner child healing for some of you. Uh, I feel here that uh, some of you are dealing with a cancer. If not, this just means that um, from this situation, this completion that you had to go through, I do see that uh, with the healing and taking time out, okay, to gain your clarity, uh, you're taking your power back here and you're moving forward. Trusting in the universe and you're being guided so there's a, like leaving something behind. Was it done quickly? Let me see. Was it done quick? Let's see if this was done too quick. In terms of leaving something behind. Give me more clarity on that. The Nine of Cups, it was a wish fulfillment. King of Pentacles. The Empress. Hmm. The lovers. Yeah, there was def definitely a strong connection here with someone. And there was a choice to be made here. There was definitely a choice to be made. But someone was thinking about it. Someone was in their head a lot about it. There was a decision that had to be made here. And someone here was not patient and caused the tower moment. Okay. Um, there was prosperity here. Yeah. There was definitely prosperity here in a situation, whatever this was, okay? Let's look at the Hierophant. The Six of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Star, Aquarius Energy, of course, you came in. Someone here is still holding on to something. It could be a, a person, a pattern, a situation. Uh, someone here is taking time out right now, uh, has been taking time out to reflect and following their own path. But someone here is still holding back on, on how they're feeling. Could be. Um, there is definitely a, 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 someone from the past year or past life for some of you, but past, okay? And uh, yeah, there's, there's healing. Uh, there's definitely healing that's taking place here. Um, and this was this is a wish that's going to be granted but i feel like vulnerability is the problem here someone is not being able to be vulnerable they're thinking about it logically when the emotions it's all about emotions here it's all, it's almost like someone here is a devoid, devoiding their emotions in this particular situation here because i do see a soulmate soulmate energy here whoever this means whatever this means here someone's thinking logically about a situation instead of going in with their emotions. Let's look at what's crossing you. You got the temperance. And this is a challenge. Why? The King of Swords. The Hangman. The Queen of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. This could have been long term in a situation or could still be long term. Because the Wheel of Fortune is here. Or because something could have just, as it took place, Aquarius, for you in your life, something must have like, as soon as something started, something ended. Um, in 
in terms of healing, there's someone here that, okay, even though that they're in the hangman position, they've been still or contemplating here, or they've been, it could be that someone is in the cocoon stage. I will see further down the line here. Um, I see someone here that's been absor observing a situation, maybe with themselves or a situation here. Um, they usually attain what they, they're very cold in energy and they usually attain what they want here. They, you know, they go after what they want and they get it. Like they attain their goals. There's, there's a lot of intelligence energy here and not intel intelligence in ways in how they see things. This could be you and energy or someone else. And there is someone here definitely that has been nurturing themselves, but that's not what they're showing. It's almost a term like they're hiding that. Okay. Cause there is someone here that's been nurturing themselves. Okay. But they're not showing that they're still observing it. They're absorb observing the past, observing the past in the present moment and the future. They're like in three and um, these are the cards. Patience is needed and healing communication is the key here and someone i don't see someone communicating at this point okay so let's look at the queen of wands why is the queen of wands here for aquarius six of wands jupiter nine of pentacles mm -hmm. and the queen of wands reverse someone's very frustrated here Someone here uh, is working on themselves 100%. They are working on themselves. They're very independent here. Uh, the Queen of Wands was reversed because the Queen of Wands is upright here. So uh, it just means that maybe at one point, some of you had to really work on your confidence in a situation, whatever this is for you, in your craft, in your relationships, whatever this means here, okay? You're getting there. And there is gonna be victory and success here with Jupiter coming in, a reward is coming in, and you've been putting a lot of work into yourself here. You're very independent, and I do see prosperity here because there's gonna be messages of good news coming in because whatever you put out there is coming back to you. Something's coming into balance, but you have to stop overthinking about stuff because you have to let go of situations here. There's something that you need to let go of, maybe a pattern, a person, or something here that is gonna go to your wish um, fulfillment towards what you truly want that makes you happy and I feel that some of you if you're leaving something behind and you've been overthinking it and still leaving something behind I feel you're still looking in back which is okay to look back as long as you don't get stuck there okay let's look at the Sun in the current energy why is the Sun here the page of swords the eight of wands the five of wands yeah there's conflict here this is in the recent past till now in the current energy they're picking conflict within you there could have been drama around you competition whatever it was here um and uh with the page of swords the pages are all about new beginnings there was maybe some type of communication online communication or just some type of communication that came in uh, but whatever the case is is that there was conflict around this even as if the messages were coming in i feel you you were in conflict Okay, and there could have been, like I said, drama around the situation and something was not what it seemed. So there was a lot of fear in the past year. And uh, for some of you that you were manifesting in the future, like manifesting or putting th like vi envisioning the future here, you had many, you had two paths to choose from. Okay, and something here was like hidden from you. Definitely. There was something hidden. Something in, there was, there was an energy of uh, some type of fear based or illusion or deception here so it's a member it's also important to fall, to understand what your dreams subconsciously are trying to tell you and also the conscious ones but subconscious what is the subconscious trying to tell you here okay it's very important to look at that because I, as things started to uh, take steady fast or started to rise here and messages started to come in things started getting aligned that's when the conflict started. All right, so let's look at the justice in the middle of the reading.
you got the ace of wands you got the moon you got the four of cups there's a new beginning that's taking place here for you is that like a spark of life okay maybe you're not feeling it yet but it's here maybe you're in conflict still maybe there's still healing that has to be done here patience is also needed even though you've been nurturing and taking care of yourself whether this is you or someone else here something is not what it seems and someone here is not wanting to see it they don't want to be aware of it they could have been they could be dissatisfied or bored in in this situation or rejecting a situation here let's look at the seven of pentacles it's like saying oh brother not again <laughs> oh, you know, that type of energy this is what i feel oh no not again all right so let's look at the seven of pentacles here the knight of swords comes up twice in your reading the hermit four pentacles yeah there's a message coming in because someone has a hard time letting you go it could be a pattern or a person here whatever it is there's a there's someone here that even if they come in to give you a message uh I'm not sure if it's the truth that you will hear because someone here has been taking time out to reflect 100 percent they're following their own path but someone here is still in contemplation there's crossroads someone here is still holding on to their life to something but they're coming in i don't think that they're being truthful about something here you got the seven of swords underneath let's see what they're hiding you want to find out what they're hiding let's find out what they're hiding or if this is they're not able to be vulnerable why is the set okay, i didn't even ask why why is the seven of swords here with this knight of swords and the hermit and the four of pentacles what is it that are they hiding something or is it they're not able to ex explain in their feelings how they feel strength judgment the nine of pentacles yeah they're not sure yet they're still heartbroken someone here is still heartbroken okay someone's still hurt okay and they're still being pulled into different directions um what they're missing in the seven of swords is vulnerability it's to be open to be vulnerable okay definitely and uh so a judgment has to be done here they're moving very slowly even though they're coming in with a message they're moving very slowly towards you okay i'm just going to take an extra card here for give me another card for the seven of swords leo energy is very strong i do feel that this is when venus turns into leo that uh i think it's going retrograde oh my god i don't i'm sure of it uh but let me check here uh first for this card some of you have strong leo in your chart why is the seven of swords here the knight of wands the lovers <laughs> temperance and the tower yeah someone whatever this message i don't know if you have to give a message to someone or someone has to give a message to you in either form they're coming in very passionately they're coming in with a message they're coming in uh there is a strong bond here whoever this there is a choice to be made that's why the judgment card is here and they're coming in very slowly but i'm not seeing any cups attached to them there's no love there's no they're not able to express themselves because it, it will take a lot of vulnerability to do that um patience is needed i'm also thinking that maybe it could also be some type of completion that someone is coming in uh for healing because a tower is going to come in there's something here because someone um, has, has been sitting on the fence about something here uh yep someone has been sitting upon the fence about something here there there's a decision they have to make but they have to go within to make this decision 
and I don't know if it's maybe someone that still wants to have control over this situation. I feel that they feel if this is has to do with a strong bond that you have with someone from the past that you're not talking to, I feel that they feel their your energy because I feel mostly it's like not in the physical, like in the realms or in the dreams or whatever. It's important. The dreams are very important for you, Aquarius. I feel that what was I going to say that communication will be the key here whatever it is here that's taking place is that someone's thinking about it and not going within they need someone needs to express themselves and be very vulnerable it's kind of hard to do that when your heart is broken. I get that. There is healing. Do they need more healing? Do they? Definitely. They do. And someone here has to remain patient in this process, whatever this is. There could have been, um, there, there, there was a lot of pain and anguish in this, and someone here was not what they seemed. I'm going to tell you as it is. And there could have been, there could have been a lot of options and third party situations, people, places, or situations, whatever it was that interfered. But they're gonna come back here, okay, uh, to get maybe a healing, to get, someone here wants to say something, but they're not coming in with any love. Okay, so just letting you know. I don't know who that is for. Let's look at this Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Eight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. You're in your head about something here. You could be overthinking something. Um, let's say it's about finances. <clears throat> I do feel that you're stable here. You've been nurturing yourself and something is coming into balance whatever you've been giving out there it will be coming back to you and it's in divine timing so there will be messages coming in that are important okay but i'm not sure how you guys are going to take this so you might be there could be a choice here someone staying or someone leaving let's look at what you can't see right now with the six of uh, wands what's hidden from you Then Ace of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Five of Swords. Yeah, there's conflict here. There could be a resolve. There could be. There could be. There's a uh, something coming in, something new. It could be money, something tangible, a gift. The King of Wands here. Someone is seeing the bigger picture of a situation. Leo energy is very strong here. Uh, but there's still conflict here. There's Someone here is not trusting a situation because they... They're not, someone here is not trusting because there could have been foul play uh, in a situation here. Or maybe you were thinking about something negative or there could be the other person if there was. There's a regret here. There's regret. There's missed, maybe a feeling missed of opportunity. And someone here is going to take action. But again, like I said, there could be trust issues in this situation. Yes, it's showing that it could be very rewarding let's give me another card for the five of swords as an advice what should uh, what what is this about and what should they do there will be a breakthrough here some type of communication is going to come in nine of swords the devil who seven of cups three of cups seven of wands six of swords some of you are going to be moving away from this situation now again you have choices you have to make the choice okay there's also free will remember about free will yeah something looks good here okay definitely but there's trust issues it could be someone not playing not someone having your bag not playing someone here that could have backstabbed it there is some type of resolve here yes there could be okay but this situation caused a lot of pain and anguish you couldn't sleep at night 
there could have been a lot of uh, completions at the same time and closures that you had to go through. Uh, there could have been changes upon your stability. There was maybe a lot of options, but there was a lot of confusion around that. There could have been third party situations. There could have been people, places, whatever it was here, okay, that took place. And uh, someone here was being very defensive. You could have been dealing uh, with someone that was toxic or uh, they could have had addictions or um, could have been many things here, uh, you know, uh, not uh, someone here that chose um, prosperity, money, material world over anything else. But what is being shown to me with the Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords is that there's a breakthrough maybe you're going to see that vision maybe you're going to have that dream that's going to tell you what exactly it is that you are not seeing in a situation and better times are coming ahead so some of you are moving away from this situation completely i do see that there could be some type of communication there could there, there could definitely be some type of communication here okay definitely Better times are coming ahead. Blessings are coming ahead as well. If you're leaving something behind karmically. I think this has to do with karma and contracts that you have. That are going to be releasing from you. So you might be relocating or moving as well. Let's look at this Knight of Swords and the Hopes and Fears. Like I said, someone here is not interested to see. Or interested, or it could be some type of rejection as well. It all depends. What is this Knight of Swords about? The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Some of you are going to be walking away from a situation, even though it was long term here. Um, you're still looking back, of course, because like uh, you could say, okay, it's easy for anyone to say, oh yeah, I'm not talking to you anymore. You can block someone, but you have to carry those emotions. I mean, you, know, you can't just put them under the carpet, you know? So of course, you're going to always look back to see as you're going towards your ninth and 10th of cup here, what makes you happy. And um, yes, there could have been something long-term here, but someone's walking away. Why? Because Jupiter's coming in. There could be a second chance here, something that's destined and fated to come your way. Maybe it was a lesson or an experience that you had to go through. Okay, um, that's coming in for you as you're walking away from something here. Because I, I could see that someone is single here, someone that's really taking care of themselves. It could be you're, you're doing things on your own. Okay, because there's someone's not coming in with the emotions at all. They could, but. There's still work that has to be done. They're not on the same level as you, Aquarius. And it's not to put like levels that are good or bad. It's just that they're not in the same level. And um, with the death card, there's an ending and a new beginning. So there's a transformation here. And some of you are going to be, uh, you know, you're making this judgment, okay, for new beginnings and, you, uh, and waiting for your manifestations to come in, for new beginnings and abundance to come in. Let's look at the seven of swords, uh, seven of wands here in energy, uh, in your outcome. So being defensive here, standing up for yourself. Four swords, four of wands, the king of cups, the queen of cups. The Emperor, the Two of Swords, the Hierophant, the Sun, the Ten of Wands, the Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Pentacles. Well, there's definitely, um, there's many options and what can make you happy here. Someone is being pulled in two different directions. There is definitely a soulmate energy here. Okay, so let's look at this. You got the seven of swords, seven of wands, sorry, with the four of swords. Taking time out to heal. Isolation. Rest. 
to gain clarity four of wands there's the king and queen of cups here the queen let me just give you the scenario of what i'm seeing here and what i'm picking up intuitively right is that the king of cups is out meaning that they need a lot there's they still need to water themselves they still need to heal themselves as the queen of cups is looking back at the king of cups she knows exactly what went wrong she knows exactly where she stands and she's not her body is not turned to this individual whoever this is it's like this okay and she's just like yeah okay right because there's a lot of things that took place someone here wanted to have control okay very much of the situation and they're not really looking back they want to have control they're still in their head about something not making a decision okay they have to choose the higher road here do they want this relationship do they want marriage do they want to continue this whatever this is or is this a business i don't know it's been very difficult it's been very difficult though it promised of great times something here was in challenge there was a lot of obstacles and it was difficult so there's an ending for the 10 to come in for the ace to come ace of wands to come through and yes it had to do with a love relationship maybe there was but someone here is being pulled into different directions in terms of their feelings someone's feeling left out ghosted you're feeling defensive there was an ending of a situation here and it's important to for someone to trust their feelings because there is secrets around this okay so that's all i'm going to tell you because i don't want to give you more information because you have all the information here okay it's time to uh reflect and have non-judgment okay um and remember your dreams and if uh, if you see this video when then mercury is in retrograde know that there's going to be communication problem and it's important to review everything and also okay don't forget okay to look a little deeper because some of you uh there could be someone here that lost wisdom that don't remember who they are why they're here and there is hidden secrets okay so i hope you enjoyed your reading don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon aquarius bye Thank <laughs> you.